Hello all. This is me, your fearless leader, going over all the modifications I've done on my 1290 SAS. So let's start at the very top of the bike here. Poog racing screen. I love this thing. There's space behind it so that the air comes up behind it. You can adjust it up and down. I got these KTM mirrors. Uh, I believe they were on eBay. And they're pretty decent mirrors. They look great. These are Denali D4 lights, as you can see down here. I put some orange headlight film on it just to sort of give it a little flavor. The graphics kit here, I got off of eBay. It wasn't Moto Pro Works. I can't remember. It's these dudes. Um, whoever the hell those people are. That's who I got it from. What is it? Oh, it's D Rabbit. Dag Rabbit. <laughs> uh, I like the kit. On this bike, I did put a uh, Hyper Pro RSC, which is a reactive steering damper. I love it. It's it's great. You can dial it up or down. Uh, on this bike, I have actually two sets of tires or wheel sets. I have a wheel set in the garage, which is the original uh, 17, 19 set. And then this is the the uh, 17 inch wheel I had made for the front. It's a basically a Super Duke GT front wheel. It has Gelfer wave rotors on the front. I have a Moto Composite uh, carbon fiber fender. The fender fits from a Super Duke GT. And if you look down in here, you can see that there are five millimeter spacers between the rotors and this because the rotors on the adventure bikes are set 10 millimeter wider than they are on the other bikes. Uh, just to let you know on the side here, I stuck with these. I did put on some Poog adjustable racing um, pegs that were, they rotated, they put them up about here. But unfortunately, when you stand on the bike, which I like to do to get some, you know, stretching in, uh, it doesn't work. They, they, were, they were bending, they didn't have enough. Um, to the back here, and let's start on the exhaust. As you can see, it's a black coated, ceramic coated exhaust. It's an aero racing exhaust, so there's no cat in it. And as you can see, I blanked off the O2 sensors. And in the engine itself, there is a Rottweiler Stage 5. So all the SAS and everything came off it. In the front here, you can see right here, that is the crankcase breather tube. It runs from the top of the crankcase up here to the front of the bike. Then when I did the stage five, I opted to do this. These are the vacuum tubes coming down from the throttle bodies. I tie in my V system to this for my Scott oiler. And that way I can balance the, uh, balance the carburetor bodies. Uh, it sounds awesome with the Rottweiler air box on it. On the back here, this is a GPR-1 exhaust. And it was very, 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 very loud because as you can see, it's only short. But if you look down there, you can see the end of a, what I got on Amazon was approximately an eight inch deep 
Well, that I guess they use for Harleys. And it was, you know, 58 millimeters. And basically, it's probably now only a one-inch tube opening that's all perforated with fiberglass wrapped around it. And now, I think the bike sounds awesome. On the rear here, I built a whole new second rear wheel so that I could just keep my street tires on them. And this is that company that's from Turkey. Can't remember the name. And I put that on there, and it's pretty. It's pretty decent brake rotor. These are titanium uh, uh, bolts. And on the front here, which you didn't see, when you make this wheel, you have to put a custom tone ring. This is, I believe, 45 is what it's cut out for, so that. The bike doesn't know any difference. It just thinks it's on normal tires. The, um, I think the speedometer is within one mile an hour of indicated, of GPS indicated at 65 miles an hour. Uh, the other thing I did do, because I'm rather a big dude, I'm 6'5", 270 pounds, is this is a K-Tech, 200 uh, kilogram per inch or whatever the hell it is thing versus the, the stock was like 185 <sighs> and I would like to do the front as far as but it's all internals because it's all that semi-active suspension that KTM has on this thing and it's not terrible as long as I put it into race dampening mode it stiffens it right up it doesn't die too bad so anyway for the exhaust, let's give it a little run so we can get an idea what this thing sounds like. Without that pipe in there, the thing was ridiculously loud. Now it sounds kind of throaty. It's actually pretty nice. Anyway, peeps, there you go. I hope you enjoy.